This video will show you how to use the Zoom for G Suite add-on, which was recently updated. This add-on will show you what the settings are for the meetings that you create, and you can change those settings as well. So let's get started creating a meeting. I'm going to make some time and then click on more options so I get this nice big form and then just give it a title. Now the add-on is hidden under this arrow here. So if I click on um, the arrow, you'll see add-ons and there's only one option for add-ons, the Zoom for G Suite add-on. Next, what I want to do is check the settings. So I don't know if this meeting has the waiting room turned on or if it only allows authenticated users. So I'd really want to make sure I double check that before I put this meeting in place. To check the meeting, add-on settings. You have to go all the way over to the right and click on this arrow here if you don't see the side panel. So now I see the side panel and here is the Zoom for G Suite add-on. So if I click on that, I'll see all the settings for this meeting and I can tell it's for this meeting if I match the meeting ID. So this meeting ID is 9983 and over here it's 9983. So these settings are for this meeting. Now, on this side here, I can schedule it for myself or my supervisor or somebody else that you schedule for. I can turn on the waiting room or turn it off. I can make sure only signed in users can join or if I want to make sure there are no barriers to getting into this meeting, then I would turn it off. And then you can just go down the list here to see what you want to turn on and turn off. Also, you can add an alternative host. If you or the host you're scheduling for can't make it to this meeting, the alternative host here that you list, which must be a Stony Brook University user, will be able to start the meeting and run the meeting thereafter as the host. When you're done, click Update Meeting, and then click Save after you've invited your guests. You can always come back to any meeting by editing it and double checking the settings to make sure they are exactly the way you want them. When you're done, click update meeting and then click save. And that's how you use the Zoom for G Suite add-on.